My name's Professor Sally Poppett and I'm a Chair in Human Nutrition at the University of Auckland and I'm also the Director of the Human Nutrition Unit, a collaboration between two of the faculties at the University of Auckland, the Department of Medicine and the School of Biological Sciences. The Human Nutrition Unit is a residential long-stay intervention unit and one of the most important things about the unit is that we can control all of the food that a participant eats, whether we need to manipulate a macronutrient or a micronutrient, a whole meal, a diet. Dietary trials are about a lot more than just diet and we're interested in the relationship between the food and your health. We are particularly interested in weight management and overweight and obesity. And we think of it um, really in two different ways. The first way is around the causes of obesity. Why do a lot of people struggle with their weight? And secondly, we're very interested in the consequences. So if somebody becomes overweight, there's a number of diseases that uh, increased risk, particularly type 2 diabetes. In terms of some of the causes of obesity, ourselves here at the unit and also many researchers worldwide believe that probably the most important thing in terms of major driver of weight gain is appetite and appetite control. How hungry do you feel? How full do you feel? How much would you like to eat? What sort of foods do you choose to eat? Is there a relationship between your genes and your diet and also your environment? We're particularly interested in the dietary aspect. Our appetite trials are some of the most interesting things that we do and to do those we ask participants to come to the unit and go into one of our booth rooms. While the participants in the booth, they're concentrating just completely on eating the meal and we're interested to know when we serve somebody a meal in the booth, are they feeling hungry, are they feeling full, how much from the meal would they like to eat, when would they like to request another meal. Some of our very interesting trials recently have been around trying to target different areas of the gut with different nutrients to see whether stimulating pieces of the gut can make you feel full. One of my PhD students, Xun Sang Shin, did a really interesting study where he asked participants to come and stay here for five days and we introduced an incredibly long tube, a three metre long tube, down through the nose, down into the stomach and down all the way through the intestines right to the very far end of the small intestine and then infused nutrients down the tube. And we showed when we did that that if you put carbohydrates into that far end of the small intestine, so a very specific part of the gut, that you can induce satiety. If you can determine which parts of the gut are really important in terms of what to stimulate, then potentially you can target that with a food. You might um, take a particular nutrient and put a very clever encapsulation method around it so that you could take the nutrient, it would travel all the way down, doesn't need the tube, goes down on its own, and when it gets to this piece of the gut, um, it could be a timed release, and that may make you feel full. Thank you.